Hey, it's Lee, and one way of truly healing oneself is to have an attitude of gratitude. So, for today's drama therapy, or for Therapy Thursdays, we are going to have a grateful heart as our mini exercise. Shall we begin? Alright, so for today's drama therapy, uh, we will be using Konstantin Stanislavski's Object Memory as well as Affective Memory. These are techniques made by the father of modern acting, alright? So he's also the father of realism in terms of acting. For him, you have to be that person, you have to feel it the reality of it, the real thing. You have to make it real and true. So even if it's imaginary uh, circumstances, you know how to make it real by recalling some stuff. So that's exactly what we're gonna do with our technique today. So for a grateful heart, we will do something more of the object memory first. So do you have your gift with you? So touch the gift that you have, all right? So. For object memory, you have to recall how it looks like, how it sounds like, uh, how it smells, and um, well, taste, we can't really taste it, you know, because it's not food, it's not edible, all right? And um, the color of it, the sound, and the texture, those are object memories. So even without it, I can really recall like, hey, I can hold it and everything, and then I can pretend that I'm doing this so that's object memory so I remember how big it is so more or less it's this big right so that's object memory that even if we don't have the actual object we can still feel it and recreate it that's object memory so that's exactly what you have to do with your gift all right so I'll give you just probably a minute or two so you pause this video and then go back to me again all right all right you're back so the second part is affective memory so for affective memory or affective recall um it's not just the object so you remember the objects all right the object that was given to you the gift that was given to you do you recall who gave it to you and what uh what was your feeling when you you had that all right so for me, when I was given this gift, it was gi I felt so good because it was given by my niece, all right? Uh, she is one of my nieces, and um, she's very close to me. And then when she gave it to me, it really meant so much because I was, um, I was, given, by, I was given a gift by a 10-year-old kid. Would you believe a 10-year-old kid? This 10-year-old kid, I know she she doesn't have any money, so what she did was save her money in order for her to give me that gift. So when she gave it to me, and because I love my niece, I felt so good, not just because of the gift that was given to me, but I also felt grateful for the gift that was given to me and by who gave it to me, all right? So when I got that, I remember that I have to be grateful of the presence, not just of the present that was given to me, but also the presence of my very niece. So that's that's what you have to remember with that. So okay, so you got that down pass, right? So for this one, if you do this individually, um what you have to do is always have something nearby, all right, near you, that special gift that every time you see it, even if it's even if it's not there, well, if it's there, that's good. If it's not there, even if you're if you can't bring it out, at least you have that object memory recall or object recall. And then for effective memory, uh, even if you're doing something and you know it's there, you can still recall how it looks like and when you feel down you can easily remember the 
feeling of gratitude why it's there. That's why for this exercise, it's called a grateful heart. All right. So this is just a simple individual exercise. I will be producing a, a more... um. A more elaborate one and um, but this one is not just for Haysley, but it's more for my church group which is young artists for cultural arts or advocacy which is yafka Ensol or Ensol yafka actually uh repertory so we are there to uh, not only teach theater but also to also provide you some biblical and thanksgiving so this is a short therapy exercise, all right? However, this short therapy exercise can be done for um, Bible groups or for youth groups as well. And I will be posting that within the weekend, all right, for the lesson plan for this one. And then uh, hopefully you'll be able to use the songs and um, the teaching methods of teaching uh, motivation and those stuff and the discussion points there all right so for this um little exercise i will leave you for this to do this individually all right so again healing is um healing is really difficult it's really a process however one way is to have an attitude of gratitude so you have to be thankful for what is there for what is given my dad just died a few months ago. Of course, there is a huge loss in my heart. However, I am grateful that my family is still here with me. I'm very happy. I, I just turned 45. I'm very happy that despite my bout of depression and um, I was able to still get back on my feet, still processing things, still healing in my own way, but at least I still have a job. I still, even if you don't have, for the other who doesn't have a job, at least you still have your family. And even if you don't have your family, you're alive. The fact that you're watching this and you're alive, um, that's already something that you should be grateful for. Because for God, letting you to have another breath, another day, to make a difference in this generation, means you're very special and means he's not yet done he has a purpose for you and you are not an accident you count all right so always have this attitude of gratitude and it's okay to be not okay but in order for you to feel better all right one way to make it feel better is the object recall or object memory that we did all right um that um for you to remember that um, you were given this gift and make it matter. All right. Thank you and have a great day. So if you like what you just watched, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at HeySleepH. And then on my personal Twitter account, as well as YouTube channel, it's Lee Kundangan. All right. So hopefully next week, we see each other and goodbye.